So I just picked up this book, a bunch of nice fine whittling base wood, in my first ever carving kit, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, that's right, folks. I need your help, because honestly, I don't really have any idea what I'm doing. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Thanks for coming and visiting me today on this episode, and I look forward to the comments, particularly and your help because I never claim to know everything and to be honest I haven't even researched almost anything on this topic particularly whittling and carving and the reason that I want to get into this the reason that I've jumped into this is because honestly twofold one I want to start introducing the idea of making gifts around Christmas time for my boys. I don't want them to become just consumers and looking for what's the next coolest electronic thing or you know toy that can bring me joy in this very moment and, and expecting gifts that are you know um, mass produced and th those type of things. I want them to not only begin to give gifts that are you know made f uh, with their own hands regardless if it's just a little art and craft or a little you know uh, uh, kit that they put together or something but something that they did with their hands and so i want to kick that off by doing that myself and really carving two little wood uh, animals for my boys this coming christmas second one is the fact that i love edged tools i love whittling and carving and those type of things but i've never done it in more of an arts and crafts feel i've always done it more of how fine a feather stick can i do uh you know can i make a four figure trap or a notch you know those type of things and way more on like the uh, survival necessity side and not just for fun and enjoyment and expressing my inner creativity in something that I love to do which is the outdoors wood and with edge tools knives so that's why I went out and have decided to do this and you know I'll do an eventual video on this particular kit that I'll look at in just a moment from time to time I may make videos about it but I want it to be way more just about me and my time something that's not having to do with the channel necessarily that I can just get in the backyard and you know hey I'm gonna make a spoon today just for the heck of it you know or like I'm gonna make a little you know fork knife and spoon set out of wood or you know I'm gonna make a, a, a you know wood spirit you know and, and as I get good in those type of things then I can start to either get maybe even better and start to give them as you know uh, really good gifts to friends and family from time to time you know so that's something that I'm I'm wanting to do and I wanted to make sure about what I said earlier of course I'm going to get them other stuff as well you know games and toys and different things that they want but I want them to also appreciate the hand the the thought behind it not just the gift itself give me the coolest gift and i don't really care about the thought and i want them to put thought into their gift giving as well down the line as they grow up so it's a little tradition i'm trying to start so that's why i went out guys i just looked around on amazon i picked up this whittling complete starter guide 24 easy projects you can make in a weekend so that's why i picked this up it was just one that i picked up i need to know from you guys are there other books that you recommend as well if you are somebody who whittles and carves and does a lot of this type of stuff i want to know from you guys or other youtubers other maybe blogs or websites that give ideas for, for me, it's simple right now. I just want to do very simple stuff, and down the line, maybe I'll get way more creative and be able to do a lot more stuff. But right now, I just want to be able to do, like, make a something that kind of looks like a bear and make something that kind of looks like a dog and, you know, maybe an elephant and a rhino. You know, simple stuff for the kids now so that I can begin to hone my skills so that as I they get older and as I continue to hone those skills, I can maybe do better and greater and more unique, creative things. So I want to hear from you guys. Books. Um, tutorials on YouTube and maybe YouTubers who that's all they do uh, and or blogs or websites that would help me get into whittling in this area particularly of like uh, arts and crafts now if you're like me and maybe this the whole idea just perked your interest I'll just tell you what I got I have not even used these yet so I cannot give you any sort of review I'm just telling you the kit that I picked up now the, these are uh, beaver craft I believe is the brand they're from Ukraine they're Ukrainian um, it's a high carbon steel uh, blades is what we have and then wood handles I got kind of the more expensive version it was around $40 so I got the cloth uh, 
bags, particularly for the spoon knife. Um, and then I got a compound and a strop leather strop as well, which is really cool. So that is, it was a whole little kit here. These folks, you can get these individually, uh, and they do have right or left handed knives. So again, I don't have a spoon knife. And that was really one of the first things I was like, I need a spoon style knife to start doing some of this whittling. So this feels really good. The handle looks well done. Uh, you can see there, I mean, it's nothing to like, from what I can tell, super to write home about, but you know, high carbon steel, again, Ukrainian made, um, it got really good reviews, uh, several hundred, like four and a half star, you know, reviews on Amazon uh, for the whole kit. Got this little bad boy with it. I don't even know the names of these knives yet, guys. I'm sure as, as I begin to get good at it, you guys will be able to tell me and I will be able to get, you know, a better knowledge of all of this. This was literally on the fly over the course of like two or three days. I just was like, got this, you know, thought in my head, couldn't get it out of my head, went on Amazon and just picked up some stuff. That's literally how this all started. But this feels really comfortable and ergonomic, even though it's a very unique handle design there. And we got this little bad boy right here, which is basically like a small Puko, you know, kind of designs basically like what it looks like. Again, we'll find out how the edge retention is. We'll find out, you know, how the long-term, you know, ergonomics and comfortability, but it fills out my large size hands really well. It's got a nice scanty grind on it. Looks like probably about a three inch blade. So uh, 90 degree spine. So, hey, why don't you just get yourself a little leather sheath? Take this out in the woods. I mean, you could probably. So uh, guys, I'm really looking forward to it, but this is just a really just a heads up video. Um, you will see a little bit of content, but not much on the whittling side, unless I really start to get into this for some reason, but I want it to be more for me and my family and just fun time that I can just kind of do on the side that's just for me. Um, but I do want to hear from you guys uh, what, if you have any ideas of projects maybe that I should do, uh, I'm going to do, I just want to do two animals for my boys kind of out of the gate and all the different, you know, either tools maybe that I'm still missing, other equipment that I might need, and or tips and tricks on how to jump into the world of whittling uh, and how that could maybe bring more fulfillment and joy to my life. And uh, I encourage you with that idea that I have, um, that I actually had from a friend, Dave, if you're watching, uh, he did that with his daughters, and I believe still does on some level for years, they would make a gift. One of the gifts for Christmas, they would make for each other. It wasn't just that they ha could go purchase it. So I want to instill that tradition in my family. Maybe it's something you want to start tradition, start thing in your tradition, in your family. Um, so I know my boys are going to do little arts and craft gifts for my wife and I, uh, this year. And for each other and as they get older possibly build, start building things so there you have it guys uh links below for all that stuff and all the different you know um hyperlinks that we offer to you appreciate when you purchase through those uh particularly through this uh holiday season you know it's december or almost december when i'm filming this um so we just appreciate when you use all the hyperlinks knock around sunglass company mystery ranch um, you know, uh, 511, GP knives, Blade HQ, Amazon, all that stuff. So those will all be below. Check out the other video popping up. Subscribe if you're not a current subscriber so you can start seeing this stuff um, on Facebook and Instagram as well. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.